Maybe you're not thinking clearly. Are you serious right now? Case. Here's the deal. I believe Birch is innocent. So with or without your help, I'm gonna do everything within my power to clear his name. There you go. Yeah. Without your help, because y'all supposed to be a team. YouTube Funk Nation, it's your boy Funk, and we're back with The Flash. Episode 8, The Fire Next Time. So last episode, Barry finally reveals his identity to Detective Kramer. Now she is a meta-human that is taking training from Barry. So we'll see how this uh, unfolds, but hopefully they'll build up to the next new bad, which we don't know at this time. We know it has something to do with time, but until then, we'll just have to see. Hopefully they stick the landing. Anyway, if you're new here, you don't know this. This video is sponsored by... Nobody. So with that being said, please hit that notification bell and that like and subscribe so you can stay up to date to amazing content when it drops on this channel. So without a further ado, let's jump into this new episode of The Flash. Fire next time. Let's go. We back at O'Shaughnessy again. Same bar that Caitlin was acting like a whole entire ass the last episode. See, yeah, no. Ain't got time to be calling out no. Yo, ain't that the same thing that happened to Detective Kramer when she said she picked up a coffee and it was boiling hot? Don't tell me the, the villain is the coffee chick that has that temperature meta that Detective Kramer was talking about. What in the world? What is this? What is it? Yo, that look like something from the Phantom Zone. I don't know, just the way it portrayed the eye looking. I don't know what that was. All right, let's go. Let's figure this out. Is this what's causing all this stuff that's been going on with uh, Iris? Hey, I was thinking that we could get an early dinner reservation tonight. Sure. What's wrong with you? Thank you. I'm okay. And I need to get to work. I'm just a phone call away. Okay, what was on the calendar? What, what was on the calendar? Um... He's the manager of this local watering hole. That man was mummified. That's weird. And the body's burnt through, but... The oh, fire did this. Oh, they were burnt up. Oh, that's a messed up way to go out. You know, this is giving me, like, goodbye Armageddon, but hello Dante's Inferno type of... <laughs> was this him? That's him. Looks like we're not the only ones who leveled up this year. Hmm. All right. Well, something seems fishy about that, though. It's the way she was looking. She looked back a second time. I don't know. It's just some way she looked at that. I thought we were supposed to be the voice of the people. I hear you, but Rosie Levin is who the people are interested in. But sometimes we are going to disagree on the stories that we tell. It's a part of the truth. That's the whole point. You want Taylor and me to work together? You're my yeah. supervising editor. Go supervise. Go supervise. <laughs> perspectives make for better stories. Yep. There and you go. Up... Plus, two heads always works better than one. Yo, Iris has come a long way. I trust your old man, Harold. Watching a Lips concert's gonna blow your freaking mind. Yeah, whatever, dude. I hope that's his friend. Because if that's his son, and he talking to him like that, bruh, ain't no way in hell that will go down my household. Whatever, dude. What? What'd you just say? Jocko Birch, you're under arrest for the murder of Stanley Mullen. Nah, uh, I think you got the wrong guy. Hey, 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 get your hands off my son! Calm down and put your hands behind your back. Nobody's taking my kid away from me. Never! Oh! I'm innocent. Please believe me. Flash, you gotta help me, please. I didn't do anything. Please, I can't lose my son. Please. I didn't do this. I swear to God, I didn't do this. Please, no. What's gonna happen to my son? Oh, wow. It sounds just like, oh, wow. Do anything, I swear. I swear. Please, please believe me. Now he's gonna go and do some investigation. Okay, all right, I see where they're going with this premise. Let's see what's, what, how they let stick the landing. And last night he supposedly killed a man and then instead of laying low, he went back to work this morning? Right, that, it didn't make sense. Would you be willing to meet with him to get a read on his emotions? Yes, of course I'll meet with him. Guilty or not, everyone deserves proper representation, but very using my powers to read a client. I know. It's an ethical line that I can't cross. You've done it before! What you mean? Okay, whatever. Or took guts. What inspired you to make such a bold decision? Let's just say... In she need to uncross her arms. She is doing a defensive posture. Like, you can look at her. She really doesn't want to be here. Just look at her face. I'm so sorry. Will you excuse me? Uh, uh, so oh my gosh, she's going to ruin the interview. Lydia. 
Garcia. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. Who is this? I don't remember her. The truth is, cleaning floors is the best job I can get with a record like mine. Help her. Like you There's your new story. Who trying to be only who I was. I'd like to try and help you. How could you possibly help me? Let me share your story with the world. There you go. But Iris ain't going down for that because you were supposed to be there helping. I forgot her name, but you're supposed to be helping her out with the current story that she assigned y'all. I need to know my son's okay. The cops won't tell me anything. Yeah, Harold is fine. That's why I got my act together and got the hell out of that place. But Harold, mm. they never forgave me for abandoning him. And the thing is, Harold's a good kid. Stan and I got into it at the bar. I sold him a guitar so I could buy Harold backstage passes to the Lips concert. And at the last minute, Stan decided to only pay me half of what we agreed on. But then I went home. That's the last I saw Stan. Hmm. You got cameras? Don't y'all have cameras? But I'm telling you, I'm innocent. Birch just doesn't have the pieces that you need to build a strong defense. You got to find out who the real culprit is. If there's any chance he is innocent, we have to help him. Okay, what is this? What's going on? Jacko Birch just escaped custody on rental holding. Oh my God, he's making it worse for himself. He's probably going to go get his son. That's probably what he's about to do. I believe it's her. She's the meta. Remember? Wait, wait, wait. You told the cops I killed Stan? I'm going to lose my son because of you. Because of what you said. Because you're going to take it back. You're going to take it all back. Oh shit! I thought the flash was coming in. You heard it. It sounded like it, but I don't know. That's How you not so find them already? I keep trying. We have to figure out where Birch is going. Oh, you got the old suit in the, the background. We'll nice throwback. Uh, guys, emergency dispatch is getting calls about a fire right outside O'Shaughnessy's. Bro, don't tell me you didn't kill her. Holy crap! What kind of fire is this? Huh? I know who this is. Is that the witness who pinned it on Birch? Oh my God, bro. You know, your innocent man bears not looking so innocent anymore. Yo, what happened in between the time we went on break? Oh my God. Must be working together on this. Next one. Right now, I am in the zone. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just need to get some air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading the finished product. That. Yeah, but the problem is y'all were supposed to be working together. The facts are still on Birch's side. Neither crime scene has any direct evidence tying him to it. Birch has motive. Motive is not everything. Yo, come on. The Flash know what the hell he's doing. Why don't y'all be like, okay, you know what? I've trusted you in the past. I'm gonna trust you now. Let's find out what's going on. Maybe you're not thinking clearly. Are you about serious right now? Case. Oh, so that's it. You, you've already decided you're, you're you're giving up on him chester could you please at least take a look at this and, and see what you can find why not what's the problem why are you hesitating just because if anyone had when i was a kid my dad wouldn't have gone to jail true and okay. you and you know what and it was the reverse flash here's the deal i believe birch is innocent so with or without your help i'm gonna do everything within my power to clear his name there you go yeah without your help because y'all supposed to be a team writers what are y'all doing and what's up Seven, joe eight years since i've seen this board cecile told me what happened. i knew it i was like cecile must have went and told joe the team's worried about you no they don't have to be i'm fine no you're not bro yes he is they don't know what today is i do february 1st henry's birthday Oh, so that's why they were lingering on the calendar for so long in the beginning of the episode. What if the reverse Flash doing this mess? But he don't have that type of meta ability. It was the same look in Birch's eyes when they arrested him. Look of an innocent man while the birthdays we spent separated by plexiglass. So use your abilities. I can't man. let Birch and his son go through that if he's innocent. Don't go back in time, though. I don't know, maybe the team's right. Maybe I'm making something out of nothing. No, you're not. Trust your gut's instinct. You think maybe Aaron? I've had blinders up this whole time? Trust your you instinct. You something they can't. Exactly. Look, if your gut tells you... Called it. ...to not give up on Birch, then for Henry's sake... Don't. don't. And use your instincts and find the real culprit. He found some information, Chester. Yep. 
<laughs> I said it. It's right on cue. The, the show is starting to get predictable. What do you think? She gonna not like this because they supposed to be working together. But besides that, it is a very engaging and beautifully written article. Oh shit, I was wrong. I, well, however. Seriously, you like it? Yes, I do. But Allegra, but, as strong as that article is, that's not what I assigned you. Exactly. But I wanted you to make this special and yeah. to help support a colleague. Allegra, you could have made this story so much better if you would have helped her like I asked you to do. Yeah. yeah. Iris, I'm so sorry. What I want is for you to learn how to be a supervisor. That's why I'm trying to teach you how to mentor her. Wow. Instead, you did just the opposite. I have an obligation to our readers to publish the best articles that I can. And your profile on Lydia is amazing. We're going to go with it. I want you to talk to Taylor. Mm-hmm. And apologize. And work it out. Right. From O'Shaughnessy's to the one in the alleyway from the second victim, like you asked. Nuclear fusion. What you're describing is cold fusion. Meaning... He's innocent. But nuclear fusion, isn't that what Firestorm is? Is there an evil Firestorm running around here? Let's hope he doesn't do anything else stupid before we can clear his name. You just gotta find him. Flash and you find him. Tell him, hey, we, we figured it out. I want my son! No! Oh, Lordy, man. Come on, you're making it worse. Wait for the Flash. He's gonna clear your name, buddy. Well, he don't know that, but... Harold! Birch, I said get down! Get him, boy! You do something stupid. All right, go. What are you doing? Go. It's fine. You can find that out when you get there. Exactly. Just go. Oh my God, he's still here talking. I guess comms are not a thing in this show anymore. Flash can talk on the way to the scene. What are y'all doing? If he tries to take his kid by force, we have to stop him. You're talking too much. No, you listen. I just want my son. But you're not making it any better. This is your final warning. I know you didn't kill anyone, Bert. Your lawyer found evidence to prove you're innocent. But all right, so what's been causing this? Oh, come on. I'm not doing anything. That's not what you're doing. That's what you already did. What do you mean, what he already did? What did he do? Was it a volcano? What did he do? Explain. Bert, your heat abilities. They're connected to the earth beneath wherever you're standing. Uh, yeah, science, not my strong suit, but yeah, okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. He means emotionally. Oh, because he got mad, the lava came up to his location because he controls heat. Gotcha. Oh, how do you stop something like that? Look, I've got an idea. If it works, there's going to be a huge release of pressure forming beneath us. When that happens, I need you to absorb the remaining heat. Oh, this is going to make make his son look at him because he's going to be a hero. Oh, look. Yeah, watch. His son going to be like. <laughs> what do you mean where he go? Are you new to this? He phased through the earth. Like, how you not? What are you supposed to be doing? Huh, okay. Oh, so he's releasing the pressure. Now what, you gonna exhale it? Yes. Oh, that's it? He probably high as hell right now. Face into the water table under the city, then release it directly into the lava channel. Oh. Melt. Saving hundreds of lives. Try thousands. Saving that many lives is what I just did? Yeah. Looks like you're the father Harold deserves after all. Told you that's what's gonna happen. So can we find out who the real culprit is that, that killed the other two people? So he didn't do it. Who did it? We know he was innocent from the beginning, but so who really did it? Damn, Grant, young as shit, skinny, skin and bones. Okay, social services is on their way with Harold. They should be here any minute. You and Harold are getting another chance, a real one. You're the one who told them not to give up on me. <sighs> oh, really all right, so oh, yeah. who Thanks. did Thanks. it? Who's the original culprit? Who did all this? Hey there, kiddo. No. Okay, so are we gonna discuss the elephant in the room? I know damn well y'all just did not let a meta go on a killing spree and not Come answer the gloat. question. Who no. did it? Kind of the opposite. I want to apologize. Yes, Iris loves the Sanchez story, but 
We are running your piece on Rosie Levin next week. So tell me, what did I do to deserve getting stabbed in the back by my own supervisor? Iris assigned you to help me, not run me over, which is exactly what you did. Mm. Called in a favor with the boss. Guess you learned that in prison. Wow. Look, I messed up. I said I'm sorry. She is not. She probably gonna quit. I'm gonna destroy you. Yeah. Oh, she ain't gonna quit. You just made her a competitor. Awesome. Doctor, you should have better taste. Thought nation. Are they said, really letting well, the meta just go around killing two people? When you buy it. <laughs> Roam the streets? Wow, Flash. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice to hear everybody remembering him this way. What do you remember the most? Yeah, little you wanna know what I remember? Two dead ass people that was, uh, that were folded like omelets at the beginning of the episode. Most I just remember being loved. I still miss him. And that is okay. Okay. You can't get drunk, Bear. So if Birch didn't kill those two, then who did? Y'all just now bringing this up? That should have been the first thing y'all did. Just for the cold fusion data we pulled off the bodies, could you program those variables into the satellites? What am I looking for? Others. More victims. Mm. There's a meta serial killer out there. We need to find them. So we got a Ted Bundy serial killer on our hands. Uh, well. Huh. I enjoyed it because of the heartstrings they were pulling because it reminisced everything Barry went through with his dad and he was trying to make sure that something didn't add up with these killings and that, you know, hey, this guy might be innocent and we're pulling him away from his son. So let's go and check every box and make sure that he is not who we think he is. You know, that whole aspect. So it was just some story beats in there that just didn't make any sense. Like everybody knows Barry and he's a forensic scientist. He knows when something doesn't feel right. Right. It's all the adventures they've been on and Barry is like, yo, this doesn't feel right. I'm pretty sure we're missing something. Let's look at this. And the whole team, the whole team is like, yo, the evidence shows that he's guilty. Like, what? Like, out of all of the stuff y'all been through, really? When Barry's usually say, yo, I just have a feeling like this. We should go and check some other things out. What? What's the hesitation? That's the, the issue I had with the episode. Other than that, I did like it. I enjoyed it. Allegra and her story. She done made herself an enemy now, so <laughs> Well, I don't see how that's going. I, I can't think of the other writer that they were supposed to be working together when Iris sent them out. I can't think of her name right now, but she didn't create a whole enemy now. Maybe she will forgive her and they'll work together in the end. Maybe something will come up where they finally understand each other. I don't know. Or maybe they just gonna be at each other's throats for the remainder of the season. We'll see. But have you seen the episode? What do you think? Let me know. Put in the comments below. Tell somebody you love them and I'll see y'all in the next video or stream. Deuces.